Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. So, I was talking about this the other day, and um, Philip Rivers, that, that's basically what, Philip Rivers, what do you do? And I said that the Chargers could be looking for a quarterback next year. And it was, what's going on with the Chargers? There, there are a lot of things. They're not winning those tight games. You know, Philip Rivers, I've been watching you know, for years and years. They're always the game that comes on after, you know, if, you know the 4-30 game. And it's like, oh, shit, the Chargers can come back. And they don't. Philip Rivers throws a game-ending interception um, with, like, you know, there's a minute 30 left on the clock with no timeouts. One timeout, they need a touchdown. And I'm getting sick and tired of that. You know, there's only so many years you can handle that. Last year, they won those games. Instead of being 2-7, and seven, they were, you know, 5-3 and three or 5-4, and four, whatever it is. And, and, you know, they were winning those games, and that's why they made it to the playoffs. Then they beat the Ravens because they had to face them twice. And they're like, oh, you know, rookie Lamar Jackson to beat them. And then they got smoked at home against the New England Patriots. You know, and the, the, the owner, Dean Spanos, doesn't want to pay anybody. You're paying Anthony Lynn very, very little. I mean, he's a good coach. He's a good running backs coach. But is that the solution? I mean, you're going to you're going to a new stadium next year, and all of a sudden you're gonna have the Rams with Sean McVay. Who, by the way, they, they lost yesterday off a of bye. That's embarrassing. Um, but anyway, so you have Sean McVay, you have Jared Goff, then you have the Chargers with an aging Philip Rivers. You have to create some hype around this team next year. You have to do something. You know, we thought the Vegas Raiders they they would be a problem like that, but no, next year they're gonna have a lot of hype. The Vegas draft, Derek Carr. What can they do? Uh, the, you know, the Pagers going out. What you know? Can they? Can they overthrow the Chiefs? By the way, they're only a game and a half behind the Chiefs right now, but uh, that's that's a different topic for a different day. But, you know, the Chargers are going to need to uh, change. They really do. Phillip Rivers, people are questioning, is he a Hall of Famer? Is he a Hall of Famer? First of all, let's get that topic out of the way. Is he a Hall of Famer? If you think he's a Hall of Famer, then Eli Manning is the first ballot Hall of Famer. I can tell you that much. And people who think, oh, you know, Philip Rivers, he has all these stats. Eli Manning has the same exact stats that he does, plus two Super Bowls. And he didn't have a like, Damian Thomason. And he didn't have um, a, the, a great defense. He had the number one defense and the number one offense in the league at one point. Okay? Uh, like, Philip Rivers has, the, has had the weapons. Antonio Gates, those types of guys. Eli Manning was able to beat Tom Brady. Philip Rivers is 0-8 against Tom Brady. I mean... Uh, come on. Every single time Eli Manning's faced Tom Brady, it's at least been close. I mean, the Chargers got blown out. But it's... All right, let's just get that debate over, okay? And uh, so Eli Manning is definitely a Hall of Famer. Philip Rivers is... Eh, like, he's, he's a really good player. He's like a Matt Stafford type guy where, you know, he wasn't able to lift his team. It may have been because of the dysfunction of the team, but we'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting. But we'll discuss more, more of that when they retire, when everything is said and done. We'll discuss all the stats. But... You know, a lot of the times you don't see the end of these games when Phil Rivers just throws the ball away and that's it. You know, he's a fighter. As far as, like, grooming a different quarterback for next year, he's going to compete. You know, Phil Rivers hasn't won anything. Eli Manning has. Eli Manning is a nice personality. He was like, oh, shucks. Like, and Phil Rivers, he, he's an ultra competitor. He'll compete to the day he dies. You know, that sort of thing. If, he, if they sign him, he's going he's gonna to compete for the top spot. And I think if you're if you're the Chargers, you let him. I think you let him walk because he's not going to groom your guy. He's not going to groom that the, the guy that you want. You can say he's going to iron, iron sharpens iron, but I think you create a new quarterback, and this is your franchise. The two quarterbacks that they have on their roster right now is Easton Stick, who they drafted in like the fourth or fifth round last year, and then you have um, Tyrod Taylor, who I think could be a bridge quarterback. I think that can be like a Josh Rosen, you know, second year quarterback, and Tyrod Taylor, who's like a, a journeyman quarterback, that sort of thing. I think. The, the Chargers can do somewhat of that. And then the quarterback they pick, if, if the guy's good, then, you know, just keep him. As far as who they should draft, they're probably going to end up 6-10, and 10, let's just say. So they're going to be like, let's say they end up with the number 10 overall pick. Then you have teams like, I think the Bengals, Miami, I've listed the, the teams before. But the, those two teams at least are going to be looking for a quarterback, maybe Tampa Bay. But I think they're going to be looking more for a quarterback in later rounds. I think they're going to draft a, um, you know, a, a top-fledged cornerback, like a a guy from Ohio State or a guy from Florida or something like that. I think that's what they're going to look at. Um, who else? The, the Lions, you know, Matthew Stafford's heard maybe they'll be looking for a quarterback, but I don't think so. And, yeah, so they're going to end up 6-10. and 10. I think they should draft a quarterback with their first overall pick. They have a decent roster. I mean, their defense isn't as good as it was last year, but it, it's banged up. Their pass defense is, like, top five in the league, or fifth in the league about. I'm not, like, top five. By top five, I mean, like, fifth. And then their rushing defense hasn't been great. Uh, if you want to draft a defensive tackle, if the defensive tackle is high or you want to get him, that's great. I don't think so. I think uh, as far as defensive tackle, they should go after like a Dalvin Tomlinson from the Giants. 
they should go after a, a Leonard Williams maybe if he doesn't resign with the Giants. Uh, I know I just listed two guys from the Giants, but they're going to be a decent amount of guys available. Um, you have, you, but you do have a decent pass rush uh, that's kind of underperformed this year. But yeah, I mean their offense is 20th in the league now. You know, Philip Rivers is giving a lot of turnovers. They're not generating turnovers, and now those are the two recipes for success. The third down conversions are not doing well. I mean. The the bread and butter of this team is not working. Their offensive line sucks. They're they're doing they're doing like the the passing right. You know they have the most passing yards. They have a lot of garbage yards, but they're not doing the fundamentals right. And that's because again, uh, the, the owner is cheaping out on Anthony Lynn, who uh, he's 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 been at Ohio. I mean at uh, Buffalo for a little bit. You know he hasn't really done much. And you're gonna have to you're gonna have to change this franchise. Whether it's switching owners, I don't know. But you're going to have to make something interesting here. You're going to have to create some interesting storylines. You know, the, the Raiders, uh, as much as you want to say, they went out and hired John Gruden for 10 years, $10 million. You know, and then now they look at them, they're successful. You got to create that, that base. And you got to, I think you got to tear it down and rebuild almost. You got to just get, get some draft capital, draft well, and go from there. I mean, they do have a couple of uh, solid draft picks from the last couple of years. Derwin James. Uh, I think Jeffrey Simmons is playing pretty well. Um, oh, is it no? Did they get Draymond Jones? I forget. It was either Draymond Jones or um, Simmons, but I don't know. Either way, they they have a lot of work to do, and it's gonna be interesting what they do. It's gonna be very interesting. People thought, even me, that they would compete for the Super Bowl. I had them winning the Super Bowl this year until I jumped off the bandwagon before the season started because Derwin James went out, and it seemed like last year was just uh, an anomaly. And it was. You can look at it now. It was an anomaly. I mean, they do have solid wins against Green Bay, but they caught them sleeping. You know, any team that goes to L.A., they're, they're distracted by all the, you know, all going out. And they're like, oh, this team sucks. And then they, they show up. And it's like, oh. You know, Phil Rivers is going to show flashes. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, he's great. Kind of like Eli Manning. They're going to show flashes of greatness. But in reality, I don't think you can win with that. Um, you know, Tom Brady is the same thing, but Tom Brady's Tom Brady. He's 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 an exception. And plus, they have an amazing coaching. The the Chargers don't have good coaching, so no matter you're already start you're already starting off behind in the game if you don't have great coaching. And the, the fundamentals they lack that they lack the discipline. And you need a guy like Mike McCarthy to come in there and uh, reset the tone for this franchise. And I think that's that's one of the moves you could look at. And quickly, we're gonna play this game with like off season where the quarterbacks are gonna go. Uh, Philip Rivers, as far as where he can land, uh, Chicago, no, um, Tampa, no. There aren't going to be too many teams looking for Philip Rivers. He may be playing in his last season, and that's kind of sad. You know, Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, Eli Manning. There aren't too many places for Philip Rivers. The Titans, maybe. Nah, like I'm, I'm, I'm looking. If you guys know any teams that could potentially be looking for Philip Rivers, let me know. But. There aren't too many. There aren't too many. I think Cam Newton is going to be a way higher look, looked at than Philip Rivers because Cam Newton changes mechanics. Uh, Cam Newton is coming off of surgery. He hasn't played in a while, and he's he's fresh. You know, Philip Rivers has been banged up, and he's played a lot of games. You may have seen, we may be seeing the last of Philip Rivers, so definitely do enjoy it. Okay, now that I gave it like a minute more thought, I, I, he might be able to get a deal with the Broncos because that's what he did with Peyton Manning, John Elway. The roster is decent enough. And Drew Locke and Brandon Allen are in, and so is Joe Flacco. So maybe Phillip Rivers, but then again, they also have Joe Flacco there for the next couple years, so I'm not sure about that either. But, yeah, there aren't too many places for Phillip Rivers to land. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, a little bit of a shorter one. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.